Hello, this is Paul Heiser, Senior Research Analyst at NISBA, here with today's mailbag question. I heard that state school aid is now limited to personal income growth. What does this mean exactly? Well, in 2011, state lawmakers adopted a law that limits annual increases in state school aid to the annual growth in personal income in New York, as determined by the U.S. Department of Commerce. Total personal income is the income that is received by all persons in the state from all sources. Personal income growth is simply the percentage increase in total personal in income from one year to the next. New York's law establishes a personal income growth index to which school aid increases are tied. For the 2012-13 school year, the first one for which the limit applies, the personal income growth index was based on the average growth in personal income for each year from 2005-2006 through 2009-2010. For the 2012-13 school year, the rate of growth in school aid was limited to 4.1%, or approximately $805 million. For the 2013-14 school year, and each school year thereafter, personal income growth is determined by the rate of growth in total personal income in the previous two fiscal years. Based on recent estimates of personal income growth in New York, State aid increases are expected to be limited to $940 million in 2013-14 and $835 million in 2014-15, a roughly 4% increase each year. However, the level of spending needed to maintain the current system is about 5.3% per year, according to the State Education Department. In addition, last year a gap elimination adjustment was made a permanent part of the state aid allocations, further limiting the growth in formula-driven aids and largely offsetting the state aid increases provided under the Personal Income Growth Index. These two factors will make it increasingly difficult for schools to provide a sound, basic education for their students, making mandate relief initiatives an even greater imperative. Thank you for watching this episode of the NISBA Mailbag. Remember to send your questions to mailbag at nisba.org.